Hey, it's Doran here. Just wanted to do a quick unboxing. Got this the other day at Home Depot. Really wanted a knife with a built-in screwdriver. So, um, let's see. I'm hoping that the, the screwdriver is centered in the handle here to make it easy to twist. So that's one thing I'm looking out for. Uh, it looks like it is a uh, plastic Looks like it is plastic scales here on this. Um, how much is metal? Well, it's kind of thin metal and then looks like thick plastic scales. So, I mean, honestly, that is a little bit disappointing. It seems like it's gonna be kind of chunky and heavy, but we'll see how it feels in the hand. Uh, this is for everyday use, everyday carry. I'm gonna have this clipped onto my belt. I think this belt clip looks nice. It's not gonna catch on anything, I don't think. And it's a wire. It looks like it's easily replaceable with a Phillips screw right there. It says press and flip. It's the Fastback. Six and, this is the Milwaukee press and flip. <laughs> this is the Milwaukee part number 48-22-1505. Limited lifetime warranty. Fastback six and one folding utility knife. Navaja Maltusos. Plegable six and uno. Uh, press and flip six and one. So it has a wire stripper right there, I guess. I don't know how well that's gonna strip wires. And then a bottle opener right there. Number two Phillips, a quarter inch slot. And then you can also use that as a quarter inch nut driver. I think we're up to five. And then the, the knife right here. So it uses the standard uh, utility blades here. I can't remember if it has storage for an extra blade in here or not. Hopefully it does. Okay, it does. Onboard blade storage, quick change, quick change blade, on blade, <laughs> quick change, tool-free blade change, onboard blade storage, tether ready lanyard hole, nice. And then the durable wire belt clip reduces pocket tearing. And that's kind of what I wanted. I thought this clip would reduce tearing. The other ones that are flat like this one right here, this Walmart one, this thing just loves to catch and, and dig into my clothes and, and rip them. So this has a nice rounded feel to it, the shape, and then the angle of it, I think are gonna be nice and how much it sticks up. So this does look like it has an easy open packaging here which I appreciate, Oh, dang it. Not, not perforated all that well. <coughs> all right, let's open it up. Okay, so, oh, I was like, where's the blade? <laughs> the blades were left behind in here. Or the one, at least. It's kind of a nice little, that's a nice little blade package. I think I'm gonna keep this to, to keep a, a spare blade in. It's really small, it's nearly sealed. You put a little oil like they did in here and keep your blade nice and fresh. I might just, I might just keep that one in there. Yeah, I'll just keep it in there. And then I'll, I'm gonna like, eh, I don't know. Hmm. Anyways. Okay, so time to test out the flipping. If this thing flips open nice and easy and one-handed, I'm gonna be excited. This is an everyday uh, use knife, which I'm gonna keep uh, right here on my hip belt or on my uh, waist strap, waistband of my shorts, my pants. I always keep a knife there. Cutting open boxes, whatever. Okay, the blade is in. Is this plastic? Oh, it is metal. It's a weird plasticky type feel. It has a little bit of a finish on it. It seems like a it looks like it, maybe it's a cast and it just has that random structure, which means it would be pretty weak. Uh, ooh, that's a nice cutout right there. 
That is real nice. That fits in there pretty nice. And then there's a bit of a cutout here for the middle finger. The pointer finger cutout is really nice. It does have a nice, nice thick, chunky feel on it. Does it not come with an extra blade? I think I see the blade storage, but not an extra blade. Okay. So this, this button, there's a button right here to pull the blade out, which is okay. Not, not the best. You do have to press it pretty hard. I mean, I guess you want to accidentally do it. And it has this bar here that kind of prevents you from pressing it accidentally and releasing the blade. So here's, here's the real determiner. How, how does this thing flip out? Okay, that didn't, I thought it was gonna flip out. Oh, okay, so that, that did flip out pretty easy. Hmm, it hit but didn't lock in, that's disappointing. Look at that, it bounces and comes back open. Hmm. It is a real chunker. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty big. So I carry it. Pull this out. It's upside down. It bounce back again. It doesn't. Hmm. And again. So. And again. I'm not trying to do this. I'm trying to flip it back. Okay, got it that time. And it bounced off, so I don't... And it bounced off. Maybe it's part of my technique, because I flip it down like that and have kind of a gravity go, but then it's bouncing and coming back down. Maybe I need to flip it back like that. So it doesn't, I don't know. All right, here's the, the bit driver. And oddly enough, it doesn't seem to be straight. It seems to be angled off this way ever so slightly. So it doesn't, it really doesn't seem to be straight with the, the handle. Are you kidding me? It's not even straight. Like I would consider the knife straight up, but this is slightly that way. Like if I rotated it, it's slightly that way. What is it? This is the double ended here. So we have Phillips. Flathead, double-ended on this thing. There's a little ring and I think, is there a magnet too? It's really hard to get back in there. I can't tell if there's a magnet or not. So that locks out, that's, that's cool. 
There's the lanyard hole right there. Maybe it's just an optical illusion. From this side, it kind of looks... No. Kind of looks like it's going that way. I guess there's a bottle opener here, but I doubt I would ever use that because basically everything's a bottle opener. There's all sorts of surfaces on this that I could use to open a bottle. I could use this. I could use the, the screwdriver. <laughs> I mean, I could use the, this edge right here to open it. I mean, there's so many other surfaces on this that could be a bottle opener. I really think adding a bottle opener to everything, it's just silly. <laughs> like I could just as easily open a bottle with this right here. Maybe not just as easily. See, does it lock at 90? There's a detent here for 90, which is nice. So you can come in, go quick with this, and then when you gotta torque it down or breaking it, you can come in here 90 like that. That's really useful. And I guess, you know, with this, sure it only has the the one double-ended bit. It comes with the most common one that you're gonna need probably. But you could add, you could be carrying in your pocket some other double-ended bits. And then you got, you know, your knife and your driver here in one, pretty sweet. It is, it is pretty heavy and chunky. It'd be nice if it was a little bit more metal and a little bit more compact. But I don't know, the size and the weight of it's gonna make it uh, a really good cutting tool. Like you could, you know, probably cut carpet with this or some thick, heavy material just because you have such a substantial uh, body here. With the smaller ones, like something like this, you're not gonna wanna be doing much, much heavy cutting with this, this little flimsy thing. So, I mean, this, it just doesn't fit in your hand, holding your hand very nice. So. But this is a nice little.